let's work with the sum and difference identities. For example, let's find the exact value of sine of pi over 12 by using a sum or difference identity. Well, let's first recall these identities. Now, since we're looking for a sine value, we'll want to use one of the first two identities here. So what we need to do is find two angles, A and B, that either add or subtract to give us this pi over 12. But moreover, whose sine and cosine values we know. Now let's recall some of our common trigonometric angles. Pi over 2, pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3, and so on. Now we know the sine and cosine of all of these angles. We want to find two of them that will add or subtract to give us pi over 12. And looking here, these denominators 4 and 3 multiply together to give us 12, so they seem pretty promising. And in fact, pi divided by 12 is equal to pi divided by 3 minus pi divided by 4. And since we've written our angle pi over 12 as a difference, we'll be using this difference identity for sine over here. Namely, sine of pi over 12 is equal to the sine of pi over 3 minus pi over 4, which is equal to, by this identity, the sine of the first angle or sine of pi over 3 times the cosine of the second angle or cosine of pi over 4 minus cosine of the first angle or cosine of pi over 3 times the sine of the second angle or sine of pi over 4 which is equal to the sine of pi over 3 is square root of 3 over 2 times cosine of pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2 minus cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half times sine of pi over 4, which is square root of 2 over 2. And this is equal to the square root of 6 divided by 4 minus the square root of 2 divided by 4, or the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2, all divided by 4, which would be our answer. Now, is this the only way we could have written pi over 12 as a sum or difference of these common trigonometric angles? And it isn't. It is not the only breakup. In fact, let's compute this. Pi divided by 4 minus pi divided by 6. This is equal to? 6 pi minus 4 pi divided by 24 or 2 pi divided by 24 which is pi over 12. That is pi over 12 can also be written as this difference here. Which means we could have also computed sine of pi over 12 as follows sine of pi over 12 is also equal to sine of pi over 4 minus pi over 6. And by this identity, this is equal to sine of the first angle, or sine of pi over 4, cosine of the second, or cosine of pi over 6, minus cosine of the first, or cosine of pi over 4, times sine of the second, or sine of pi over 6, which is equal to square root of 2 over 2 times the square root of 3 over 2 minus square root of 2 over 2 times 1 half, which is equal to the same answer, square root of 6 minus square root of 2, all divided by 4.
So in some cases, there's more than one way to apply these sum and difference identities. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.